All right, we're working with setting up and solving proportions today. Uh, this is really important. You'll use these a lot in sixth and seventh grade, so it's important that you have a good understanding of how to solve these proportions. Uh, we're going to start off kind of basic today, um, not getting too detailed with it, just working on solving these and setting them up the right way. Um, if you'll notice, in every single proportion, you always have one spot that's missing. Um, there's four spots, but one is always missing. Uh, we represent that missing spot with a variable, um, which would be a letter. Um, and now we're going to work on figuring out what that letter actually represents. Um, so with the proportion, uh, we've set it up. Um, this, you know, the problem already gave it to me like this. Uh, sometimes you'll have to set it up if you're given a word problem, but that's, that's for a later video. Um, so for this one, all you do is you got to start off by cross multiplying. So we draw those, okay? So if I do... 5 times m, we know that that is 5m, okay? If I do 7 times 25, so 25 times 7, that would give me 175, okay? So that goes over here, okay? And so now I know that Something times 5 is going to give me this 175. I just got to figure out what that something is. So I need to do the inverse operation. So instead of doing 5 times m, I'm really going to divide by 5. Okay. So these two 5s over here will cancel out. So I'm just left with m. And now I'll just need to solve this side. So 175 divided by 5. So I know this is 3, 17 minus 15 gives me 2, bring down my 5, how many times does 5 go into 25? Well it goes into it 5 times, 5 times 5 is 25, so I know I'm done. So now I know that M equals 35. Alright, so really in place of this M goes a 35. Um, you can double check yourself to make sure it's right. So if I did 7 times 25, you know, we figured out that was 175. Well, if I do 5 times 35, that's 5 times 3 is 15 plus 2 is 7. So it's still 175. So proportion is all about being equal. So I just said that 7 times 25 was 175. And now I just did. And remember, I plug in this 35 right here. 35 times 5 also gives me 175, so I know that my proportion is correct because both sides are equal. Okay, let's look at this next one. Same, same thing, it's already set up for me. It doesn't matter where your variable goes, um, top, bottom, left, right, it doesn't matter. We'll solve it the same way either way. So I got to cross multiply. Okay, 6 times k gives me 6k. 7 times 18 gives me 126. Okay, so now I'm at the point where I need to do the inverse because something times 6 is going to give me 126 and since I don't know what that something is I have to divide. So I'm going to divide by 6. Those will cancel out. So I'm just left with k over here. So now I need to do 126 divided by 6. All right, 6 goes in 12 two times. That's a 0. Bring down my 6. 6 goes into 6 one time. So now I know k is equal to 21. Okay. And once again, if I plugged in this 21 right here, 7 times 18 gave me 126. If I do 6 times this 21 that I just found, it would also give me um, 126. Another thing to pay attention to is if this side over here is an improper fraction, so if the bigger number is on top, then whenever you get over here it needs to be the same way. So like if I had done this and if I had gotten 5 up here, I should have known that I had done something wrong because this side would have been a proper fraction, 5 sevenths, and this side would have been improper and that, that can't match up. Remember if it's a portion, proportion, both sides have to be equal to each other. Okay? Alright, let's scroll down right here to um, this proportion right here. So let's solve this one. 
Remember we just cross multiply. Okay, so 15 times y just gives me 15 y. 21 times five gives me 105. Okay, so something times 15 is gonna give me 105, but I just gotta figure out what that something is. So all I do is divide. Remember these two 15s right here cancel out. I'm left with y over here. If I do 15 into 105, um, luckily it comes out evenly to be seven. So seven goes in place of this y right here. And once again, this side is a proper fraction, so when I plug in my proportion, or when I plug in for this y, it still needs to be a proper fraction. You'll also see a connection, um, and I didn't mention this earlier because I didn't want to confuse anybody, but now maybe since we've done some more examples, you'll be able to notice. Um, so this is 15 over 21, and I just found out in place of this y, I'm going to put a 7. And hopefully you'll be able to see a connection between these. So like if I divide 15 by 3, I get this 5. Well, whatever you do to the top, you do to the bottom. So if I did 21 divided by 3 as well, it would give me this 7. All right, so there's multiple ways to check yourself to make sure that you've done it correctly. Um, but usually you can find those connections or those relationships to kind of help you see what you need to do. All right, um, let's do one more. Okay. Cross multiply. All right, so 48 times G is 48G. 144 times 4 gives me 576. Okay. I need to figure out what G is, so I need to get it by itself. So I need to do the inverse. So instead of doing 48 times G, I'm going to divide. Those cancel. So I'm just left with G over here. So now I need to do this long division. Okay. 48 goes into 57 one time. All right, if I do 57 minus 48, I get 9. Bring down this 6. 48 into 6 goes 2 times. 2 times 48 is 96. So I know that G equals 12. Okay, so plug this in up here. And once again, we were talking about that connection a little while ago. If I have 48 over 144, and I had 4, and remember I plug in this 12, okay? Well, what can I do to get from 48 to, to 4? Well, I know if I do 48 divided by 12, it gives me 4. So if I did the same thing on the bottom, 144 divided by 12, it would give me 12. 